Happy New Year, everyone. 2016 has arrived and it's going to be quite a year this year. Let's take a look at your January alchemy scopes. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. So here we are, the beginning of 2016. And as I do every month, let's go ahead and look at the macro cycle, the energy set, the storyline that's underpinning this cycle for all of us. To do that, I tap into the Sabian symbol that's imbued at the degree point at which our Capricorn new moon on January 9th occurred. It happened at 19 degrees, 13 minutes. And the Sabian symbol for this new moon point, this portal point, was a hidden choir is singing during a religious service. Interesting, because we are so close to the holiday season that this would be the symbol. But more so is the fact that it's a hidden choir. So during the course of this next month, for me, what this is speaking to is that in the background, out of sight, is a harmonic that is playing out. There is something synchronistic and networked and harmonic that is happening. And in fact, a lot of you might be feeling that. So let's move on now to the micro cycles. We'll go to the I Ching and take a look at the micro cycle that's going on for the individual signs. Aries and Scorpio. So let's take a look. Both of you received the same I Ching hexagram to reflect the micro cycle or the energetic theme for your two signs over the course of the cycle. You both received number 20 overview. The two trigrams that make up this I Ching hexagram are wind above, earth below. Overview is a time for composure and contemplation. As a result of profound contemplation, a hidden force emanates from us, influencing others without their being aware of it. Do not underestimate the power of this force. Like the wind blowing across the treetops, its presence is perceived through the effect it has on everything it touches. Shallow wells rarely strike water, and shallow minds often come up empty. The ability to keep still and simply observe deepens resolve and attracts optimal circumstances. Discern the difference between what is deep and what is surface within yourself, and you will be able to distinguish between the two in the outer world as well. During a period between events, the practice of stillness with awareness is beneficial. Only by observing and absorbing the true nature of things, by apprehending the rhythms and cycles of life, can we see and perceive clearly. Aries, welcome to your spreads. So, of course, this is for the um, Capricorn January 9th new moon cycle here at the start of 2016. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, so let's get started. We're going to work on a synchronic spread again this month. I'm using my custom Siri deck. We are, as the new year has begun, I have invested in a few new decks and one of them is the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed which is phenomenal. And then I am totally delighted to be using Vicki Verley's Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. And we're going to use those in place of the Carolyn Miss Archetype cards. And you'll do an intuitive tune in to which card, which quality set is asking to be evolved through you during the course of this cycle. Okay, so let's get started. I've already shuffled. Aries. 
I have to tell you, this card popped out for you, Aries. Connect and listen. So we'll talk about that. Okay, Aries, let's take a look. A reminder that when I am shuffling, what I'm doing when I do these spreads, I mean, the reason why I do them is to tap into the storyline that is activated for at least the majority of Awakening Aries-centric scope people. Okay, so this is about tapping into these evolutionary storylines that are unfolding now. So let's see what's going on for you. This is what I'm getting. I mean, at the center here, this is the center of the synchronic spread. There is a cleansing, a purging of various elements of your life. It could be body. It could be possessions. It could be house. You could be doing a an early spring cleaning, for example. The, you're cleaning things out, mind, body, and spirit. And this is to activate your joy, your happiness, your natural state. I'm really getting, Aries, that you are clearing. You're clearing the crap out. And that is the central theme for this particular new moon cycle. What I'm getting to... In the spiritual sector, there is the manifestation card is here. So you are in a space or a theme of thinking about feeling, feeling into the power of manifestation, how to do it, what to do it. You might be researching it, although that didn't necessarily come up here, but you might be tapping into the deeper threads of reality with it. And it's like this was reversed Usually these cards are not reversals per se. It depends on the spread. Typically the reversals pull up additional segments of information for the different sectors. That's all they do. But it depends on the spread. And in this particular case, the focus card or no focus card came up with this. It could be that you're turning over what was not focusing on manifestation what things are manifesting what things are coming to pass in your life and you're actually in a space of okay what has manifested what do i want to manifest how do i do it so you're clearing stuff out you're getting to your core natural bliss state i love this for you so far aries okay now in the emotional sector the connect card came up the listen card came up. This is about you tuning in, quieting, stilling, tuning in what is going on emotionally. And it looks like you're tuning in and you're lightening up what was darkness. So it might be that you're taking things a bit with a grain of salt that you took with a little bit more of a heaviness and a depression or a sadness or an anger, some negativity, some darkness, heaviness. So there's lightness. It feels like you're connecting at a new level during this cycle, Aries. You're lightening up that which was dark. Maybe things that have been kind of heavy lately for you. And it could have been some... The darkness was in regards to things not... The occasional card refers to um, not occurring, you know, regularly. So this could be about emotional occurrences that are rare or things that aren't emerging in your life stream at the regular pace that you would like them to. So it could be connections, for example, love, things like that. So you could have some darkness with regards to the lessening or the rarity of connection that you're having, but you're starting to develop a, a, a lightness, a humor, an ease about it, about 
how you're connecting, how you're listening. You're tuning in emotionally so that you can access this lighter state of being, which feels really good. There are things moving. I mean, definitely. So in the 3D sector, in the material reality sector of the spread, process is coming up. And process is referring to things are moving through um, a process of unfolding. And it could be that things are really active right now. Like things are moving in your life. Your thoughts are moving, your feelings are moving, your life logistics, things at home might be moving, work, your assessment of your life's work, that might be moving. And indeed, it does look like there is some upset coming up. So with regards to activity that is moving, you know, going through its process in your life, that there is some thoughts, this is the mental sector, some thoughts of upset. But it is very delicious for you because there are powerful energies that are playing out mentally Aries for you. It feels like you are able more readily to tap into, uh, your higher self, um, the infinite, you know, the, the connection to all that is you're able to connect to the higher forces that are, that is life, that is living systems. So you're connecting with your higher self. You're connecting with, you know, the bigger realities, the bigger immaterial whole, and you're doing so to think about your new life, like what you want to bring anew on your path. So, and what you want to manifest, what you're wanting to manifest. So on a very, in a very powerful way, there's a lot of activity in the mind. And it could be that these are thoughts about the upset that is various things happening now in your life. But there's powers at play that are moving you into new ways of thinking, new ways of living, new ways of being, new ways of connecting with your joy. So it feels rich and it is a very, very juicy time. I mean, I know I've said that essentially all year long, but it's been the truth. I mean, 2015 was dynamic. 2016 will be even more so. We've started this Capricorn new moon cycle, you know, with a bang. I mean, it's just, it's powerful with this Saturn Venus conjunction, along with the Jupiter North node conjunction, it is like all of us are expanding our soul path, our soul trajectory, where we're wanting to go, where we're wanting to move into. Very powerful, very powerful. So this is gorgeous Aries for you. I mean, you are clearing the way for your joy during this cycle. This is gorgeous. Now, let's go ahead and pull the other cards because that's going to bring additional information here. And what I want to say to you as I'm shuffling, because we're going to go ahead and pull um, Vicki Verley's beautiful Beast Mistress uh, Animal Oracle cards, and I'll pull three, and I'll have you tune into one, and that will be your particular quality set. Uh, that's asking to be matured through you this month. But as I do this, I want to tell you of a fantastic offer that's currently underway for the month of January. It, the offer ends uh, the last day, the 31st of January, 2016. But on offer all year long is my 2016 forecast and guidance. It's about your evolutionary story. What is specifically going on for you during this very dynamic year? That is $111 for that 90 minute one-on-one -on -one session with me. It involves um, tuning into your solar return, tapping into your transits that are activated, looking at your symbology for the year and for what's activated for your soul print at a soul level. It's uh, pulling a spread and it's accessing cards 
and various other pieces of guidance. But what's on offer now is for anybody that orders through January 31st, their 2016 forecast, um, I am offering a free uh, archetypal profile, your personalized archetypal profile. Um, that is a $44 value. So I encourage anybody out there that's really wanting to connect with their soul print in a new way to really unveil some realities about themselves that are important and aligned with your true nature, then um, I recommend getting in touch. So Aries... Those are your three cards. So go ahead and tune in. And let's go ahead and I'm going to shuffle and pull Colette Baron Reed's Enchanted Map card. This is thematic and it's guidance. So you received, I'm going to pull, I'm going to keep these out on the side. Coming apart. And, oh gosh, oh, Aries, look at this. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep these cards. Come, coming apart and come together. They popped out for you. This is number 46 and number 8. I love this. Now, coming apart came up reversed. So... Let's go ahead and read it. I love this for you. 46. So let's see what we have here. Wow, Aries. Okay. Now, the coming apart card. The coming apart card came up reversed for you. So let me read the meaning of the card itself. Now is the time to take separate paths. Now, when it's reversed, when it's reversed, a situation is unraveling and your best plans are leading you into a tricky maze. Your challenge is to separate out the elements of this puzzle to get a better perspective on what happened. You may have lingered too long in a place where you didn't belong anymore, seduced by a temporary solution. As you untangle yourself, it's important to maintain a sense of humor. <laughs> Notice the humor card that came up in your spread. Don't fret. You will learn something valuable that you'll need later when faced with a more dangerous situation. Breathe and know that you are loved. Now come together eight take a breath Aries take a breath right now okay so come together this came out second upright number eight love needs to be shared love needs to be expressed drawing the come together card is a sign that you're on the path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a relative, a friend, an animal, and or a spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished, Aries. Like a magnet, you're attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Um, I want you to really, really drink that in because... Listen, your spread was talking about storm and upset. This is talking about things coming apart, that you've maybe stayed too long, that it's time to move on, that it's 
it is a process, that it is a time of upset, that there is a dissolution. This is about love is waiting, love is around the corner, your higher self is calling, love wants to happen, relationships are asking to come into your life. Wow, Aries, Aries. This is fabulous. I just, I just love, love, love this for you. Now, let's tune in here, okay? If you picked the far left card, you're receiving wolf. Take a look at the image. I know that Vicki created these cards. Even though they're kind of simple images, there's meaning in the form of these images that she created. The nuances, the colors, the form. So this is about Aries. If you selected this, what's ask, what you're asking yourself to mature is the wild spirit of the wilderness. Impeccable instincts draw your path needing freedom to roam far and wide, embracing the interdependency of all life. Wolves are pack animals. This is about connecting. This is about coming together. Okay? Wow. I'm having a lot of bodily validations as I'm doing this reading for you. It happens often in the spreads, but it's coming very strongly for you, and I just um, drink it in. Okay. You know, <laughs> I've done several readings so far. Bear keeps coming up and there's no accident. So if you've selected bear, um, this is a, a quality set that is thickly coming through for many people. So many people are asking to evolve their bear qualities. This is winter in the Northern Hemisphere. This is about hibernation. This is about going within. What Vicki writes here is majestic wise spirit, star brother of the North. Retreat into the womb of the great mother to emerge anew. Now keep in mind, this was about you purging and finding your joy. Purging and in so doing, finding your joy. So this is about emerging anew. Define your territory, set boundaries, create sacred space, create sacred space, Aries. Beautiful. Wow. Now, if you selected the far right card, your higher self is asking you to evolve the qualities of beaver. Beaver tells us to build, to dream, it is about the familial, the friend. It's the dweller of land and water, a foot in both worlds, land and water. Your diligence can change the flow of the river. Be the architect of your life. You are a co-creator. We all are. So if you selected this card, this is about you tapping into your co-creatorship your empowered natural essence of being the co-creator of your life. Oh, Aries. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. So let's move on and see what the Dakini is bringing up for you this month. Aries, here we are at the final component of your alchemy scope. This is where I pull up the Dakini Goddess using Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle to bring up the embodiment. Who are you to actually become over the course of this cycle in order to move through it with optimal flow and least effort? You received an interesting one, taking into account the rest of your reading. You received number 29, Kali Ma. This is a powerful Dakini. Penny Slinger writes, Callie transforms through the cremation fire and through her spiritual fire, which reveals the bindu or the seed of consciousness. I am going to read here, Aries, two components from the document that Penny Slinger has written up. One is the Dakini transmission and the other is the affirmation. 
For those interested in reading more, I have an online library with all of the information and you can find that link below this video. Aries, the Dakini transmission for Kali Ma for you is this. On the great night of dissolution, on the funeral pyre of all that is, I stand eternal as time beyond time. The affirmation for Kali Ma for you, Aries, is this. I am without fear. I burn through all illusion. With passionate intensity, I cut off my own ego with ruthless compassion. I am without fear. I burn through all illusion. With passionate intensity, I cut off my own ego with ruthless compassion. Aries, a reminder that I am having a really phenomenal a gift offering happening for everybody during the month of January 2016 in order to catapult people into their knowing, their wisdom, the identification of their encodings so that alignment can become a natural process for you over the course of this year. I am offering the archetypal profile for free, a free offering, typically $44. When you order your 2016 forecast and guidance, which is a tremendous session, it's a 90 minute session uh, that goes over your astrological solar return, your transits, we pull up your symbology and I pull up a spread for you. And there's also guidance cards as well. It's quite a deal. <laughs> You can, you're not gonna find a better deal anywhere, I don't think. So if you are committed to yourself, your journey into inner knowing, understanding your archetypal threads, your storylines, your trajectories, getting aligned, moving forward, catapulting forward in your life, I recommend connecting with the archetypal stories that live within and certainly getting connected to what is the trajectory that's unfolding for you during the year 2016. So all the links are below and there'll probably be links on this video as well. So I invite you to be in contact and place your order soon so that we can get you scheduled. Have a wonderful month. Bye.